Mr. President, Islamic scholars, and respected guests and audiences, it's a pleasure to be here to talk about the most discussed issue on the planet today. And that is the issue of Palestine, Masjid al-Aqsa, and Israel-Hamas war today. My respected guests, I know that there are two mosques that were mentioned in the Quran. The first is Masjid al-Haram, the sacred mosque, and the other being is Masjid al-Aqsa, the furthest mosque. The Prophet ﷺ was asked which was the first mosque that was built in the earth. The Prophet said that was the sacred mosque, Masjid al-Haram. Then which was the next? The Prophet ﷺ said Masjid al-Aqsa. And the period between them, the Prophet said 40 years. It shows that the first house of Allah that was built in the earth is the Masjid al-Haram. Uh, we know that these two mosques has a very great, great significance, importance to us because the Masjid al-Aqsa is the first Qibla before it was changed to the Masjid al-Haram. And the Prophet sallallahu said, مَثَلَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ فِي تَوَادْمُ وَتَرَحُمِهِمْ كَمَثَلِ الْجَسَدِ الْوَاحِدِ the believers, no matter what the language they speak, the color of skin, whatever they they are like one single body. If one of his members suffers, the whole body responds to it with wakefulness and favor. This is why we feel responsibility to stand up for the cause of Palestinian and for the cause of our brothers in Hamas. And brother, we would like to talk about the Gaza, which is opening our prison today and we're on the 41 kilometers long while being the six or uh, 12 kilometers wide, 365 kilometers to that area. And where population, maybe around two million people. Today, the issue of Palestine is not the issue of here in Bangladesh. We can talk about that this issue of 2,000 million Muslim all over the world. That's why we are here to stand up to stand by side them, and also we know the Hamas, the Western media talk about them. This is a terrorist organization, Naudhi Billah. This is Mujahideen, and Hamas acronym is the Harkat al muqawmat al Islamiyah, Islamic Resistance Movement, which it means in English is uh, if we translate this Arabic into English, this is zeal in English. You can say, and it was founded in 1987. They have been fighting for the liberation of Palestine, whole Palestine. And now, as Dr. Osmani said a few days ago, that they are talking about ceasefire. There's not going to be ceasefire because the first claim should be that Israel should stop bombarding the Gaza and Palestinian innocent Muslim, women and women, and children. This war is going to take place until the Day of Judgment because the Prophet said it's going to be there. And that's why jihad will be effective and valid until the Day of Rejection. What we can do here right now, the economic embargo, today the issue is boycotting Israeli products. We should prioritize the products that will hit that has them, economy. Because Umar ibn Nusab, when he accepted Islam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he asked the permission to embargo, to impose economic embargo, and he posed economic embargo, food embargo on kuffar and mushrikeen, and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he probed it. Today, we're not only talking about the selling of goods to Israel, but also we should uh, like to ban imposing ban on the importing goods or products from them. My brothers, we must supplicate for them. Will jihad will continue until the day of judgment, and also we must boycott their products. Of course, there are many alternatives there because anything that will harm the ec economy of the enemy, this is a form of jihad and jihad will be with whatever we can, means military power, economic power, political power, even media power. Today we have many things to do. Inshallah, we hope that this seminar will lead us to greater standing between our ulama here in Bangladesh and all over the world. Jazakumullah khairan for giving a patient hearing. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.